Hi Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for the week from October 9th to the 16th. It's Rena here. I'm trying to remember how to say that because I have never done weekly readings before and um, I'm just uh, trying this out. Probably will not do them every week, but at least it's fun to do them once in a while. I'm also using the traditional Rider weight deck this week with um, illustrations by Pamela Coleman. Oh yeah, what I'm doing is a shorter spread of three pairs, past, present, future, and this is in order to. Uh, well, ostensibly to have a uh, more a brief reading, but it hasn't necessarily turned out that way, which is fine. You know, whatever. Okay. So it, it's fun. It's a fun challenge to read in pairs. I am self-taught with the tarot. But I did look at some online resources, and there are some courses that you can take that are free if you want to learn, and you're that type of a person who likes that methodical method, methodical method. Um, but one of them, if you put in Learn the Tarot in 19, just put in Tarot 19 uh, Lessons or something, they have that one, and I think it's actually a PDF file, so you can just like uh, download it. But um, one of the the lessons was about reading cards in pairs, and I was kind of like, well, why would you want to do that? But it's really, I, as I just uh, created this uh, very brief spread, it's a it's a great way to kind of make connections with cards and look at the synchronicity. So, like, for instance, this is the past position for you. And we have the Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Now, I guess you would have to know what each card stands for um, to even make a connection, obviously. But I mean to see the contrast of these two. You can just see it by looking at them. One is an active card and one is more passive. And with the arms folded, this Four of Cups is designed to show disinterest and a lack of satisfaction. One of the reason I really, one of the reasons I really love the um, illustrations by Pamela Coleman is that they are so evocative. You know, they really go along with the meaning of the cards so directly. So you see somebody who is receiving, I mean, um, being offered a cup, which is, is symbolism for affection, for love, and the person is closed off to it. Now, uh, this is in your past position. This typically would be relationship oriented. So if this is somebody who is, I would say, especially a Pisces person, because I was getting some Neptunian cards here. Um, and that you're not interested. It is possible that it's somebody who has deceived you in the past. So it's not that when somebody offers love, it's like a pure form of love necessarily. It could be that you have dealt with this person in the past and they have already created problems for you and you're not interested. Now, also, I would say... Uh, in terms of like career situations, that this would be more along the lines of something like that your heart's desire more than a career career offer that is like a practical kind of a thing that we would associate with pentacles, like um, a solid job offer. This may be something along the lines of it could even be an idea that you you have had that you've rejected yourself and this card is actually associated with lawyers so and and this is you because you're swords but as a person 
This would be a male who is under 40 and who is quite brash, maybe a bit, you know, so would be outspoken, maybe very in and out of your life. Um, so again, that can correspond to that Four of Cups and that this person may not be reliable to, as far as you're concerned. But um, in terms of any kind of career aspirations, this may be something that you are uh, involved with a career that is more mentally, mentally, what would you say? I was going to say mentally active rather than intuitive. And that has your interest. And even though you have some kind of offer or idea that you that is more along the lines of an intuitive career or a creative career, you are not interested in pursuing that for some reason. So let's just keep going because I know that's kind of like a little bit interesting or strange. Um, but look, these are the current cards. These are two cards that are two peas in a pod. Uh, when I picked these cards, I was like, whoa, you know, especially for a sign like Gemini, because you are more like this person. You, you're, you're an air sign. Air signs are full of a lot of um, mental energy, communication, ideas, um, very good along those lines. So any kind of a mental career, teaching, the the law profession, whether a lawyer or a paralegal, um, what else? Where you have to use your brains, not your brawn. Uh, that's basically what that involves. But of course, there are always going to be some that are in more creative fields. I mean, even advertising is creative when you have to come up with them. Uh, different slogans and things like that. Well, the, currently we have the High Priestess and the Moon card. Um, one thing, too, uh, I, I want to say, I, I should have said with these two cards, is it could be da dissatisfaction with your job in general, and yet there are, there were, um, it, it, it might have been like you were having a lot of, um, stagnation and then all of a sudden you notice that things are happening and it's behind the scenes okay uh, the high priestess is about things that are going on that you don't know about i've been getting that card over and over again with these weekly readings we just had a very what i think was a very intense full moon in aries so it's possible that many people from different signs have had revelations or um, and perhaps this goes back to that lunar eclipse in, in August in, in Aquarius, your fellow uh, air sign, that things are kind of being revealed and it's creating upheaval in people's lives. This is kind of like upheaval. And uh, the moon card, likewise, it's a card of creativity. It's a card associated with Pisces, although the moon rules cancer. So, you know, I wouldn't rule it out, pardon the pun. Um but there's something that may be uh, kept from you. There is maybe you are going more within yourself for some reason. Maybe you've been experiencing confusion in your life and you're trying to find out what should be your path next. And this is like, it's kind of like, I would say, soul searching, even though I didn't get the hermit card, which I usually associate with that. You could be doing some of that, and you may be uncharacteristically to yourself, uh, Gemini, and typically very social and very talkative. Maybe you're not so much right now because you just feel like you're on this verge of something new, and you really want to figure out what path to take. You are going to have a full moon, in December, on December 3rd. So that could be kind of the finale of your uh, metamorphosis and going into this new phase for, for yourself. But so what we're looking at for the, the future outcome is the hangman, 
which is really associated with Neptune as well. Um, so it's a passive card. It's a card of, uh, I always say, letting go and letting God, because that is the ultimate letting go of the situation and not trying to control it. But it's interesting. Along with that card, we get the Ten of Cups. So this is a very positive card. It's like the, the pot at the end of the rainbow. Now, it's interesting that we start the reading with the past position of the Four of Cups of this dissatisfaction. We end up the last card of the Minor Arcana. Um, well, it, 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 it's not really the last card of the Minor Arcana because there's the, the court cards of the Cups suit. But the, the, the number 10 is a number of completion. Um, so something comes full circle for you, but it's in a positive way. This is the card of family, joy, marriage. Um, so definitely if this is a personal relationship issue that you're dealing with, you have something, harmony is restored to you and your family in some way. Um, that dissatisfaction turns into... A feeling of joy however that plays out for you and um, it may be because you let you know you let go of resistance and then everything falls into place but um, the the interesting thing about the ten of cups is that even though cups usually and the nine of cups too which is the wish fulfillment card they deal with the emotional uh, part of life, there's also this physical component of uh, financial well-being. So that could also apply to the workplace. So how this, this is kind of a dreamy reading, and um, I'm going to leave it up to you to know the specifics if they resonate with you. But all's well that ends well, right, uh, Gemini? So... Uh, Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below this video. It takes you to rainamoonastrology.com. And um, I have different types of readings. Otherwise, have a great week. Bye.